Now the thing is, I suck at bargaining because of the integral rule to bargain. Guys, most guys are pretty bad because you, the secret of good bargaining is you can't make any sense. <laughs> it's an emotional warfare of bringing a guy down to his knees. So this is how I bargain, which is the worst way to do it. So I'll go with my friends for moral support. Because you know, Guy best friends is a beautiful relationship. Two guy best friends, inseparable. Like anything would happen, the world would end, they would be there for each other. Yeah? Like two guy best friends is a beautiful conundrum because guys suck at expressing emotions, right? <laughs> but they have so much love for each other. It's almost like two guy best friends are almost gay. <laughs> to just one thing away from. There's so much love. They don't know how to express it. Those guys don't know how to express emotions, right? So they do like really romantic things together without realizing like, hey bro, you wanna, you wanna go for a bike trip together? We'll go to one hill station. We'll have chai on the way. We'll take photographs. We'll dress up in leather suits. Just to make it manly, like we'll have beer also, huh? It's a wonderful relationship. Guys, give me that moral support. And you can't, and that emotions pours out when they get drunk, yeah? <laughs> like otherwise guys keep, keep bringing down each other. They're like, bro, I don't know, I'm not getting a job. Tujhe kabhi nahi mirega sale. The moment they get drunk, macho, you can puke on me, da. You can puke on me, I'm there for you, bro. I love my best friend, he's, he's the closest thing. I wish he was female so I could date him, you know? <laughs> That's how strong our connection is. It's very strong. So I, <laughs> it's all about bargaining. So I went with my best friends to the bargaining place, they're all behind me. And I'm like, sir, t shirt kit me kai. Like, sir, 150. <laughs> 140 me de do. Sir, cost price, 130 years, sir. <laughs> Electricity bill, 10 rupees, sir. Rent, 10 rupees, sir. Corruption, 10 rupees, sir. Education, says. Swachh Bharat, says. I don't make any profit, sir. <laughs> Take 200, da. I don't want the t-shirt. <laughs> this is how my girlfriend bargains. <laughs> Say t-shirt get the guy. 150. Q! <laughs> the question why has boggled astronomers and physicists for years? And she's asking a t-shirt salesman why? I don't know, madam, because things have to have a price. <laughs> it's amazing what happens. <laughs> Just like she turns into this, like she'll break him down internally. You know, you can't, you can't heal from that. <laughs> we went to Gokarna, which is a place near Bangalore where it's a beach place. It's like Goa before it was commercial. It's where, you know, this is a place where a lot of white people are there. You know, this is a place where white people are there. So brown people are like, oh, let's not litter, huh? <laughs> white people are there. <laughs> so we go to Gokana and, uh, and there's a street full of handicraft shops. Handmade stuff, guys. <laughs> the biggest weakness my girlfriend has. <laughs> there's nothing like handmade stuff. Buy a greeting card for a girl. Eh, draw some fuck all shit on it. <laughs> Get her friends to make a video collage and send her for a birthday. Oh my god! Handmade stuff, the best shit. She loses her mind. But guys, there's a difference. 
she has a friend with her. Because when she and her friend combine their powers, they become Captain Chiefness. <laughs> dish, dish, they come back and they go together to the shop. I don't want to mess with that, okay? So I'm outside and there's a full row of shops selling the same thing. It's the same shop, five, five shops selling the same thing. So I see like redundant, redundant, redundant. She sees opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. <laughs> I don't think it's about the money. I don't think it's about saving 10 or 20 bucks. It's again, it's like a man thinks he has set rules. <laughs> she wants to show how wrong that guy is. That's a satisfaction, right? An arrogant man who thinks he knows what he knows. She breaks him down. Both of them enter full on, okay? And this is how you break down bargaining, okay? I'm standing outside because I can't tolerate bloodshed, okay? <laughs> it's too much for me. I can't take it. <laughs> So she walks in with her friend and she's like, Sir, how leather chappal is going? She's like, Madam, 200. Bangalore, mein 150 ka milta hai. <laughs> Which makes no sense. <laughs> Kya? <laughs> Madam, nahi milta 150 mein, ya, 200, 200 pe milta hai. Second strike. Hum yaha kal aay the. Ek dousra admi tha. And he said 150. I've been here for 400 years now. I am living proof that global warming exists. You did not come here yesterday. It is still 200. And the ultimate and final threat. Ham jare. Yeah. Sit back and just watch.